Hello and welcome! My name is Sekiro and this is my Let's Play series of Hearts of Iron 4 where we are learning how to play with Japan. So we are at war with China and we are doing a pretty early war. We are in 1937 and we are taking over China. Or trying to anyway. Uh, so far it's going pretty good. Uh, we are getting closer to our second battle line here and then on to Nanjing and take over the country. We've actually crossed the river almost completely now. Um, This way, that's good. So so far, I've actually found that the the computer or the AI is pretty good at um, at managing managing it. Do you want to do radio reinforce rate five? Would be nice. Uh, is there anything else we need? Improved infantry. That's in thirty eight. Uh, support battalions, no. Well, I don't want heavy. I don't really. We might do heavy tanks later, but I like medium and light tanks way more. I like the speed more than the um, just being big. I don't think we'll be up against a bunch of tanks just yet, so no reason for going for that either. Could try to go for some more ships, get some better destroyers maybe. Uh, just also could go with the naval doctrine. Um, oh, we could go for a better fighter plane. That's actually a pretty good idea. I think I'm gonna go for that. Upgrade our fighter planes. And improved machine tools. Um, do we want to go for an air drop train? Battlefield support, probably. Um, by improving how close, close air support interacts with divisions, we can lay waste to enemy divisions with optimal support. Cheat to stop by bombing the enemy's factories either by night or more dangerously during the day, we can seriously handle the war machine. So that this is probably what we wanted if we went up uh, against a big nation like the Soviet. Um, but I do think I want... I think I want battlefield support though, so we can support our armies. else we want first though? I don't really think so. So let's start on our naval or oh, our air doctrine. Could also improve our tactical bombers. But now I'm gonna go for the for the first doctrine here. got some progress up here and it's actually going pretty well. We are pushing them back from the territory they took. Um, very nice. So, no new recruits ready. It seems like they're completely ready. Why wouldn't they deploy? Oh, they're still only at 98%. Okay, so that's why they haven't deployed yet. Uh, we still need some tow artillery. Wonder if that's why. I think I will deploy them though. And then we're gonna add them to... 
this line. And then I actually think they should, yeah, they should be go, go all there themselves. And I think I'm gonna modify his with an offensive line here, so they take all of that. And then start planning. So almost taken. Taking this whole battle line. Some reason he was stationed over here. Air wings with no missions. Fighter standing by. You go to. Um, Northern China, just go away as well. So we can add some more fighters if we wanted. I think we're just gonna keep these in reserve. I, it's not. I don't think they have a lot of. Um, uh, they have zero planes. We have 32. Okay, how do we choose? So if we have four here. Strength 82, organization low. So, Amelia Earhart disappears. The famous aviator Amelia Earhart, the first woman to complete a solo flight across the Atlantic, has disappeared along with her navigator Fred Noonan near Howland Island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. The two were attempting to fly around the entire world in their twin engine Blackheat Electra plane when they vanished. A search for the missing aviator is now being conducted by the US Navy and Coast Guard, but there is little hope for finding them. Of course, in real life, she was never found, but it is actually possible in this game for her to uh, complete her trip around the world. So that that's interesting, at least. Not gonna affect anything in the game, but it's interesting that there are small, small possibilities. So right now they're just trying to fight towards the next step of the plan. I think we're gonna edit the... the front line. We're gonna start this plan now. And these guys. We need a new plan. Build up preparation bonus, and we got our national focus. Um, let's just get some army innovation, and that means we have some more 
military factory, so let's add one to inventory equipment and one to total artillery. We have two more. Uh, I think one... I think I'm gonna stop production of these. Because I actually want to... Use a bunch of artillery, we can always move them later on. Well, I'm gonna, gonna want to use the new type of airplane that we are researching right now. There's no reason to build up further efficiency with the other ones, we have plenty of those anyway. Just need to push these guys back. Why are you going that way? Are you just helping? Yeah, I guess you're just supporting. Yeah, you have some tough ruin. Now that you're attacking into mountains or over rivers into mountains. Or into hills, I guess. You think that you're probably better off attacking here and helping your own battle plan? Just my, just an idea I have. Um, yeah, bunch of troops over here. Guess we could cut them off. Uh, well, we could try. One guy there. One of them in reserves. Bonsai charge! Bonsai! Attack the police just to make sure that these can flee. Then we make one of these move down here. some this battle it seems now they're trying to attack this guy but he's holding on pretty nicely how are we doing on this front doing pretty well let's execute this plan as well and more research um do we need well let's just try doing some of these I think field hospital is probably good for saving on the manpower. So we can win this battle. Awesome skill eight against skill five. Interesting. Yes, we won and just destroyed those. So if you go to here now, we can see they've lost three hundred and forty-one thousand. We lost seventy-five thousand. So we are definitely, definitely beating them pretty solidly. Attack there, that's your plan. Then we can get on with the whole plan. All of your friends are just waiting for you. So, now all of this line um, 
starts up the next step because they reach the old line. We're just waiting for those guys. Over here we are also doing really good. You, you wanna join that line, please? So do we have any resistance? Yeah, we have quite a lot of resistance. Well, uh, that can be dealt with. Harshest. And it gave us an extra military factory. So let's p do some more infantry equipment. And what do we want? So what can we get here? We can get motorized, small arms research. Air research, agility, max speed. I think we're gonna go with Michi Pichi here. I like that. Agility and max speed for fighters. So, nationalist Spain won. That's nice. It means we have another fascist brother over here. How Germany doing? Uh, you haven't done Anschluss yet, so yeah, you're, you're not really ready. Or you're far away from war still, so you're not ready to invite us into your faction just yet. The end of the Spanish Civil War. With the surrender of the last Republican stronghold, the Spanish Civil War has come to an end. The Nationalists stand victorious, and a new era has begun for Spain. The wartime country has suffered greatly in the fighting, and there is much rebuilding to be done. Why is it that you you keep? Well, I guess it's because you still have the line here. What if we move that down here? Because I kind of want to focus you on this thing so we can get to Nanjing. Because that's that's what I think we need in order to actually win this war. National focus complete, now army innovation. So we can go on, get some more research bonus for motorized, mechanized equipment. Um, Reinforce the Soviet border. I think maybe just go for this infrastructure. Imperial glory. Boy traditions will give national unity. National unity and division recovery rate. Then we can get the fine wind to allow us kamikaze strike. I think this is nice. Extra national loyalty is always nice, and then division recovery rate is, is probably. I think it's how fast they recover from a combat, you know, and so they're ready for the next step. Uh, you attack there. You attack there. You attack there, you attack there. So what do these consist of actually? Just six cavalry? Interesting. We have three dockyards. Uh, let's just add two, what's that? 
What? I wonder where those ships end up. I guess we can see it in here. Maybe just end up in the surfs or something? Some submarines are not doing anything that send you for a patrol, no, a convoy rating. Uh, and what else do we have? We have those in the home islands, that's it. It probably means that. All other ships are are out doing stuff. Okay, we need this. The green guys here. Modify their front line. So that they actually c protect down there. That was our side. Free dockyards again. Uh, do we want to add more ships? one more carrier and add whatever dockyards we have for that. Just move him up just so it's visible then he's one of the just one to one of him. Yeah that's fine. Good. Oh yeah producing towards Nanjing. Um already reached it over here. I think if we take this guy and move him here, this guy move him here and see what they do. We'll make the move a little bit so they'll go over there and help. Very nice. And we have some free dockyards once again. Okay. Well, I think I want to keep producing some submarines. Um, so now we're just producing... I think we want to do two on submarines and then one dockyard on destroyers. What's the difference between these two? Um, torpedo attack. So this is more at for torpedo attack. Firing is 14. I think we just go with this one then. Then we're producing some of these. One destroyer and two su 2.39 sub per year. Good. Anyway, it's time that I end this episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Hope to see you in my next video. And until then, have a good day.